up guys? Welcome to my let's play of One Bit Heart. This is a game made by Miwashiba. It's a friendship making adventure game and um, the first chapter has been released. So from what I know, um, this game will be updated whenever. So it's not really a complete game for se per se, but this should be interesting. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. That late already? Guess I overslept. Not like that matters to a shot in like myself. Hmm, what should I do today? I bet all those games in my backlog. Maybe I'll go see what Mikado's doing. Alright. Uh huh. This is some funky music. <laughs> I quite like it. Miwashima's art is so cute. I like it. Morning, big brother. Ah, uh, morning, Nanashi. Huh, except for the part where it's noon. It sure is. And I've got to get going soon. I believe there's still lunch in the fridge, but you'll have to get your own dinner. Got it. I'll order a pizza or something. Your body's going to get weak and floppy if you eat nothing but pizza, you know. Like you, big bro? <laughs> yeah, I used to eat nothing but pizza too. An unbalanced diet, to be sure. Oh, but can you make a note for me? I've already written everywhere I can see. Sure thing, you're already right up to the neck, though. Where am I supposed to write? Oh, so those are notes. A sign, maybe? Somewhere we're checking it in public won't get me strange looks. Okay, let's say my cheek. Ah, oh, too bad. Well, tell me what's right. Sure, it's not too long. That is long. It's a bunch of numbers. Wow. Just a thought, but I don't see why you can't use the memo function on your bit phone. It's always been said you remember things better if you write them down. Right, thanks. Well then, I'm off. Okay, bye. Hmm, I'll wait a little for lunch. What now, I wonder? Okay, back to bed. What, are you serious? No. We follow, big bro. Nah, not in a going out mood. Oh, come on, please? Fine, we're sleeping. Okay, bedtime. Uh, uh? Hey, there's a girl in your bed. <laughs> what the? Hmm. Who are you? That's what I'm saying. This is my photon. Uh? Oh, forgive me. I'll get off of it. Uh. Oh, where did you come in? There weren't any guests, and this is the seventh floor in the in an apartment or off an apartment. Sorry, I don't know. Huh? Even you don't know. What's your name? My name. Misane, huh? Good name. And I guess sleeping in my photons just how it goes if you don't remember anything else. But how about how much can you remember? Anything on your mind? Uh, I've never seen headphones quite like that before. Oh, you mean my bit phone? I made this myself. What is a bit phone? Bit phones are devices used all around the world. People these days are obligated to always wear them. 
It connects with brain waves and process them, I think. It used to have a lot of problems, but with technology now, it's pretty safe. Most bit phones are kinda like this. Connects to their brain waves. Does each person have an ID of some sort? Right. When you're born, an ID is created for you and it goes along with the citizen census. You can pick usernames on the internet and stuff, but IDs are completely unique and you only get one. Well, remembering anything? No, not yet. But if you only have one ID, wouldn't it be dangerous if someone else took it? Well, there's something called the master program and there's a control room for it at the very top of 307 tower nearby here. The master program is 99.9% .9 safe, they say. Basically perfect, although it used to be managed manually. People were nervous about the idea of leaving control to a program, but it's been about 4 months now and nobody thinks anything of it. There used to be cases of lost IDs, but now not one, so it's probably fine, right? I see. So then, who manages this program? Um, that'd be my cousin, Big Bro Mikado. He made the current master program all by himself. Amazing, huh? Mikado? I've never heard that name. Well, you seem like you lost your memory, so I don't know what else you were expecting. Let's go outside. I might learn more if I go around town. Huh? Outside? Is there a problem? I mean, I've been a recluse for four months now. Going outside's, uh, not my forte. Kind of a bother. I've got a kind of shut-in pride to uphold. Um, you're a shut-in? Oh, I guess I didn't introduce myself. That's mean! Why would they call you like that? <laughs> oh, and my goal for the future is world peace. Something to matter? Er, well, do you have a more proper nickname? Huh? Those are no good? Alright. Nanashi then. That's what Mikado calls me. Nanashi. I see. Nanashi. Okay. Okay. So I can't go outside and you have no memory, so what should we do? Play video games? What? I'm going outside with you, Nanashi. What? Mm, well, if you want to go outside with me, then I'll go with you. What about your shut-in pride? Oh, don't worry about me. If you say leave, I'll leave. And if you say buy yakisoba bread, I'll go do that. If it makes you happy, I'll be happy to. You don't care about yourself? Um, well, I don't want to get too sick or anything, and I'd like to have a peaceful old age, but for the most part, if it's useful to others and it makes them happy, I'll do literally anything. So, if someone told you to die, would you die? Yeah, if my life could save someone else's, and if they, and if it made them happy, I'd give it to them for sure. But I do only have one life, so of course I'd be very careful about such a decision. I see. I think I understand you now, Nanashi. Also, you should call me Misane-chan. Huh? But we met like five minutes ago, and I can't just call a girl my age Chan. Please, call me Misane-chan. Wow, you sure are proactive. Got it, Misane-chan. I can't promise I'll remember all the time, though. Now, let's go out and around town. We'll decide what to do as we wander. Oh! Misane-chan? Are you okay? That was such a natural tumble. It kind of brought a tear to my eye. Sorry, I have a habit of tripping over nothing. Okay, that's great. You've got cool qualities, but also clumsy ones on top of them. I think that's amazing. Also, I'd be kind of happy if you could let go of my pants. It's looking a bit unladylike. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go. Okay. Nanashi, I'm actually a bit... Can I talk? No, I can't talk to her. Mikado! Huh? Mikado? 
Aren't you going to work? Oh, Nana, she just forgot something. I'll be heading back very... Nana, she, when did you meet such a cute girl? Come now, you could have told me. Oh, Mikado, is it? Mikado. This is Misane chan. She was just sleeping in my futon. Says she has no memories. You know anything, Mikado? Mm, I see. That's unfortunate. I'm good at guiding towards a fixed result, but this sort of thing is beyond my expertise. I've seen amnesiacs suddenly regain their memories on TV. Maybe you just need to live as normal. But I don't know anything. Not even where I live. Then you should stay here until you remember, I think. If you have parents, they should come looking. You can't act without any solid information. Is that okay? I'm not at home much. You can use this room if you like. Oh, I'd better hurry before the big shots get mad. Nanashi, you're alone with her, so don't attack her or anything. That's just a joke, right? Of course not, dummy. Misane, you take care too. See ya. Huh? What is it, Misane? I just thought you two seemed from similar. Huh? You can't associate an unremarkable piece of garbage who abandons his student responsibilities and boasts the whole day watching TV and playing video games at home with a genius like Mikado. Can you maybe do something about you willingly calling yourself garbage, Nanashi? Yeah, that's kind of bugging me. Huh? But that's what everyone says I am. People at our school told me not to come anymore. Art? Typo, I think. Which is why I became a shodan. So you became a shodan because of things you didn't like? Um, no. I love my classmates and I love school. And I had friends, but now that you mention it, everyone took me off their list. You don't have any friends? I used to, but not anymore. Look, it's just Mikado on my friend list now. I've decided an objective. Let's put my memories on hold and make some friends for you, Nanashi. Huh? Why? I don't really need friends. Please make some friends. <laughs> if you say so, misane chan But how do you make friends? I think I've gotten a little worse at socia socializing since I stopped going to school. Sorry. Well, let's first look for someone your age. It should be less difficult to talk if you're similar ages. Oh, got it. You should be my friend too, Misane. Huh? Uh, okay. Uh, how? Uh, you just think friend list and do this with your finger and a window should come up. Then you can send your data. Huh? What? Uh, an error? Non-existent ID? That's weird. This doesn't happen that often. If it's trying an error, then oh well. Let's look for friends. Don't worry, I'll help you. Oh, we should use Mutter for that. I can register you. Anyone can use it. What is Mutter? It's an app I made. You can tweet words and save them. If other people register, they can talk to you on your feet too. And you make groups of people and talk with each other. Kind of like Twitter, I guess. I made it to talk to my brother and parents more easily, but it's kind of spread and lots of people are using it. For now, I'll register you and make a group. You have a real talent. This looks simple to use. You think? It's pretty easy for me to make apps. I just look at the instructions, convert them into numbers, and follow them like one, two, three. Convert to numbers? I've been able to see the world in numbers since I was born. It's kind of like the stats window in a game. Like Misane, you're 77, 54, 78. Is it something like syn synesthesia? Synesthesia, sorry. And what exactly are those numbers describing about me? Your measurements! <laughs> My leg! <laughs> Please forget about that. Now let's go. It might be good to greet people around town, learning their faces and names. Okay, let's go. Can I save? Alright. 
so cute. Hello, did it work? I think this works. Oh, this works. Yeah, okay, good. Let's write here about whatever happens. Oh, nice. Do you have any items? I have no friends. No mammals. No presents. Alright, let's go out. Um... I don't know what I just did. Okay. Seriously though, the soundtrack is pretty nice. Now she shot. Hello. Hello. Oh, what a happy young boy. Have we met before? Nope. It's my first time going outside here at all. I'm Nanashi. Come on by whenever you're bored. I'm always bored, you see. So I'd be glad to have someone to talk to. I cannot sound like Granny, I'm sorry. Okay, got it, Miss Yasune. All I sell here is candy, but no tax on it. Come by if you save up some money, child. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I was going to say something about friends, wasn't I? Oh, well. Well, you can do it now. Ho, ho, ho. Hanako looks happy to see you, too. Hee ho. You lose a lot of freedom as you get hurt. Come any time, child. Dear old Jason is not going to run. If only because she couldn't if she tried. Oh, oh. I like this granny. Alright, so... Can we go here? Nope. Can we go here? Nope. Let's go out. Um, there's a guy there, but I want to go in here first. This is pretty neat. Seriously though. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hi, you're a new face, aren't you? Yeah, I'm Nanashi. Nice to meet you. Oh, Mikado's cousin, wasn't it? I hear about you from time to time. You, you talk like Kanoshuya. I like it. Wow, you know me, mister? I'm glad. Miss. Huh? But according to your measurements and everything, you... Miss. Okay, miss. Good kid. I wish my brats could learn from you. Huh? You have kids? <laughs> Not my children. They're much younger, but they're twin siblings of mine. Incidentally, though, I am looking for romance. Nanashi, I bet you'll be a fine man in a decade. Huh. Should I take that as a compliment? I guess I will. Thank you. <laughs> One can never start too early, though. Um... <laughs> kidding, kidding. You're too fun to toy with, Nanashi. No hard feelings? And if you see those little rascals, you'd best be careful of their meddling. Alright. I'd best be careful. Excuse me. See you around. As an advance warning, I don't have any love potions I'd have used them all anyway. My medicine is very effective, so they say, if you get sick, come on by. Best that you don't get sick at all, of course. Alright. Did... I just wanna keep saving, okay? Can't go in there too. Alright, let's talk to this fella here. Nanashi, there's someone your age there. He's a boy, so perhaps he'll be easy to talk to. Whoa, right now? I wonder. But you'll help me, right, Misane-chan? I should mention that I'll only do so in a pinch. Please do your best before it comes to that, Nanashi. You want to see me flounder, and then help me after. Okay, got it loud and clear. I'll get hit and shatter. I hope you don't shatter. Hello. He's pretty cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Nanashi. Huh? What's your name? How about we go have tea? Huh? No. What are you talking about? Then let's be friends. It'll be a yes if we're friends, right? 
Uh, no. Why would I be friends with a total stranger? And a strange one at that. Well, don't you want to find out that out for yourself? No, I don't care. Try somewhere else. Bye. I failed hard. What kind of bizarre invitation was that? Well, I heard it's easier to get people to agree if you present unreasonable terms to them first and then make them slightly more reasonable. Well, what's done is done. Time to look for someone else. No, I'm gonna be that guy's friend. My parents raised me to do that stuff I say to the end. He seemed like a particularly tough customer though. And he seemed to be soaking wet for some reason. I guess it's his hobby. Everyone's different. But like, is there a trick to making friends? Mm, sharing interests is a key part. Maybe you should look for topics to discuss. Mm, he was holding an ice cream popsicle. So would I, like, talk about his favorite ice cream? Ice cream. He must have gotten it from the candy store there. Go check inside and you might learn about him. We're kind of like stalkers, huh? Please don't say that. It's just necessity. Alright then. Let's gather info and try again. Are you sure? Well, sure. Let's go to the candy store. Granny! Hello? Upsy Daisy! Oh, who are they shit? Did you win a free ice cream? Do you know a blue-haired boy who eats ice cream? Ah, uh, Natsukage. Yes, he loves it, so he comes by often. Yeah, that's him. What do you know about him? Let's see. Ah, he plays that sport. Sushi run? He's very cool, as they say. So fast that my old eyes can't keep up. Sushi run? I think she meant sky sea run. It's kind of like surfing. You use a special board to run on the water. It makes it look like you're flying, hence the name, I think. Come to think of it, I thought I heard his name before, but I think I saw Natsukage at the national tournament. I see. You know a lot about this kind of thing. When you don't go outside, you watch TV and news a lot. Say, why do these programs play more than half the day? Don't you think that's weird? So, what would happen if... What would you happen to know what sort of things Natsukage likes? He really likes him to like sushi run. Always practicing up for it. And choco banana ice cream is the kind he buys the most. I see. Is there somewhere around here where one would practice for this ski sea, sky sea run? Dang it. Oh yeah, a 307 tower on Blue Sun Street. I think there might be a special stadium or something. Then let's go there. And please remember what you just heard too. Got it. Oh wait. Can I pet your cat? <laughs> oh, we're very well. She's an old lady herself, so not too rough. Go on, Hanako. <laughs> it's cute. This cat's so cute. I want to stay here forever. Nanashi. Uh, oh, sorry. Bye, miss. Bye, Nanako. Nanako. Hanako. Too many nanas. Let's go back then. I know, I'm enjoying this game so far. Hmm. Hello. Um, what? Hello? Trespassing into the Ashitobi lab. What a reckless act. <laughs> <coughs> Very well, as you wish. I shall make you my guinea pig. Whoops. Wow, we are so not on the same page. Who are you, mister? Mm -hmm. Me? Me? Oh yes, you can call me this! <laughs> oh, he's mad alright. Okay, would be mad scientist Mr. Kiri. 
I'm not a sheep. Ha! <laughs> what do I care of your name? Now drink this potion for me, would you? That's a very sickening color there. I wonder what'll happen if I drink this. <laughs> Muscle augmentation? Muscle augmentation! Yes, the muscles. The muscular from the beauty. Beautiful! Thank you for doing the laugh for me. This is, uh, kinda scary. Excuse me. He is nuts. Let's see. Hey there. Hello. Yeah, yeah, welcome. Looking for anything? I'm looking for friends. Huh? Huh? My name's Nanashi. What's yours, Miss? Huh? Not really. In fact, I believe I found exactly the pretty young girl I was looking for. Huh? What? Okay. Can you say that again? Uh, you're a pretty girl. I might faint if you had an hourglass figure, too. Huh? Huh? Can't hear a thing. Did a cow moo or something? Pretty young lady. Oh, well, thank you. She doesn't hear what she doesn't want to, I see. But if you're not gonna buy anything, then beat it, okay? I don't have all the time in the world here. Oh, sorry, I'll leave for now. Right, yeah, hope to see you again and all that. Uh, something's putting me on edge. It's completely draining me. Wow. Hmm. Oh. Hmm? Wow, sorry, I was spacing out. What do you need? Uh, I'm looking for friends. Friends? Hmm, what's your brand by that name? Oh, I should introduce myself. Hello, I'm Nanashi. <laughs> I guess it figures there aren't any friends here. Sorry about that. Is it a foreign brand? I'll see if I can check on my next break. Oh, Mio! Can I have a sec? Mio, me too! I've got an issue here! Oh, yes. Hold on a second. Wow, you're a real ladies' man. Ladies' man? Are those chips? Sorry, but I need to talk to some other guests, okay? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm good here. Yes, good. Call me if you have any questions. Neo! I'm coming. I think I'll have to learn from this guy. No, you're pretty cute, Na Nanashi. Don't worry. Well, it's been very interesting so far.